And this is Homer. Me. This is me. I am me. So today we are going to be studying atmospheric pressure. So first thing you need for this experiment is empty Coke cans. You need a pan that your mom says is acceptable to get beaten up around. Water, H2O molecules, and then a bowl of ice water. Okay. Seriously? That's very mature, very mature, very mature. Okay, you want to help us take a picture? Sure. Step one. Okay, the first thing you need to do is you need to put a little bit of water into your pan. How much should I put in? Just much to barely cover the bottom. Okay, you. You poured it. You is our helper today. So, for this experiment, you put enough water to just barely cover the bottom of the empty Coca-Cola cans. And then you turn up the heat. Turn, turn it to high. Up, up, up. You turn up the heat to high. <laughs> so we're back, and our cans have a steady stream of smoke, steam coming out of them. And the first one, you is going to flip upside down into the cold water. You ready? Go! <laughs> when it gets flipped upside down in cold water. Now we're going to put one right side up in cold water. Um, Nothing. Okay, now we're going to flip one upside down into hot water. See what happens there. in the coke cans and that got really hot when we put it on the pan and the steam pushed all of the air out of the can right air yes pushed air out of the can so now there's no air in the can and so then when we flipped it over in the cold water which i think was this one right yeah when we flipped it over in the cold water the air the can suddenly was hot there was no more steam pushing the air out so it tried to suck air back in but there wasn't air there was water and if you've ever tried sucking water in really quickly your lips get all like that. That's what happened to the can. The tension of trying to suck the air in made it implode on itself. And that's what happened when we put it in the hot water. And the reason that that didn't happen when we put it right side up in the cold water was because it was able to suck in air from the top. And so that was in trouble. So the water vapor pushes all the air out of the can. Then when you flip it upside down in cold water, there's no atmosphere pressure inside the can because the water vapor instantly condenses into water. And the water vapor, the, the air pressure outside of the can is much greater than the little pressure inside the can, so it implodes. And so basically, what happens if you go underwater and your ears hurt, or you go up in an airplane and your ears pop, both ways. And so, yeah, both ways work to describe what happened in this experiment. Uh, I'm Jay. And I am C. This was Ballistic Square. Check back next week for more videos. Bye. Yay!